All right, let's look at how to do logical volume management with logical volume manager or LVM. So first of all, I have a terminal right here. And in this terminal, I'm gonna go ahead and create a partition that I can use with LVM. So first of all, you use fdisk. And my device is dev sdb. And I'm going to print out and you can see that it is a full gigabyte of space. It's not big, but just enough to show you how it works. I'll do N for a new, P for primary. And I'm going to default to partition number one. And I'm going to start with the first sector. And um, I'm only going to do half of this so you can so you can see how we can extend this and make it bigger. So I will do plus, let's do a 500 M. All right, and you can see there's now a partition. This partition is not the correct type. You can type in T, and this one is currently um, a Linux partition, and I wanted you to do a Linux LVM partition, so L for that, to see what our options are, and right here you can see an 8E, for Linux LVM, so I'll do 8E. So now it's created a Linux partition right there, it's Linux LVM partition, and I'm going to go ahead and write that. And now I can go ahead and create my volume group. Um, I guess before that I need to initialize this partition. So I'll do a physical volume, so PV create, and this is dev sdb1. So that's the first partition. So now it is initialized as a physical volume that can be used for the volume management. So now I will create a volume group. So I do VG create, and I'll call this one my volume group VG and I'm going to create it with a device already so dev sdb1 so this is added to the volume group at this point I can go ahead and start creating uh, logical volumes logical volumes are kind of like partitions that you can then format and use but before I do that, I want to show you how you can see which volume groups you have. So you can type in DGS, and it shows you a list of the volume groups. Now you can see there are two volume groups. There's the MyVG that I just created, and then there's the one that was created automatically by Rocky Linux when I installed. So that is whatever this thing is called. So I'm going to go ahead and do a much more dis detailed display. So do VG display. And by itself, it'll display everything. So you can see both volume groups and information about them. Or I could do just one of them, uh, where I could just do my VG, and it'll display just my volume group that I created. So there we go. That's good. You can see the size is 496 megabytes. And I'm going to go ahead and create a volume that takes up the entire space. So I do a LV for logical volume create and I want to name my logical volume with a minus n my LV. So my logical volume I'll do size let's do uh, plus choose size plus, plus uh, let's do 400 M. There you go. And we're going to get that from the My Volume Group. So there we go. We have a 400 megabyte partition we're creating. All right. If I want to use the similar command to list them out, I can do LVS, so it's logic volume, and then list them out. And you can see there is a 400 megabyte volume I just created right there as part of my volume group. 
Now I can go ahead and add an additional partition. So we, we have that one gigabyte drive. We create a partition. Now we go to fdisk, div, sdb. You can see, we can p for print, and I'll do n for new. And another primary, and this is partition two, and we'll just use it the rest of the space. It's of type Linux, so we need to change it to 8e. So t of type two to 8e. We print that out, and you can see we didn't, now we have two logical volume partitions. S, D, B, 2, and 1, and W for write. I'm going to now create or initialize that with a PV create dev S, D, B, 2. So now it can be used as part of that. I'm going to add it to the volume group with a VG extend, extend, and I'm going to add it to the my my VG and the device I'm adding is dev sdb2. So now it's been added to the volume group. If I do a command l or actually vgs, I can see that now we have a lot more free space. So 616 megabytes of free space. I can go ahead and extend the logical volume to add it to that as well. So if I do LVS, you can see that I have this one right here is 400 megabytes and I want to extend it. So I do an LV extend and I do size plus, let's do 616M and it's dev my VG my LV. All right, so now it has extended it. And I can go LVS again, and I can see that it is now 1016 megabytes. So it's basically the full gig. And at this point, it's, it's ready to go. I mean, it was ready to go before, but now I can do things like put a file system on if I want. So I can do MKFS. And I press tab a couple times. You can see what my options are. I'm going to use ext4 and do dev my vg my lv and I'll format it. And then at this point, I can mount it. I can create a mount point. So make a directory mount point, whatever you want to call it. And then I can mount it there. Mount dev my vg my lv on the mount point and then i can go into that directory right there mount point and take a look all right so that's nice i can do that i can also unmount it mount point and i can go ahead and delete this now because I, I maybe don't want it so I'll do lv remove dev my vg my lv. So I remove it and it says active. Do you want to remove it? You say yes, I want to remove it. So it's gone now. At this point, I can go ahead and delete the volume group if I want it as well. So I can do a vg remove. And I can do my VG to remove the volume group. And there, that is gone. So that kind of gives you a basic introduction to using LVM to create volume groups and to create logical volumes.